how she's doing and she'd lie and say I'm fine. Ask her how she's doing and she'd lie. Ask her how she's doing. Ask me how I'm doing. Oh, the other kids with the pumped up kicks, you better run, better run. I'll run my gun. Welcome to another video. In this video, Becky has finally stood up for herself amidst Amberlynn's slew of Instagram Q and A's talking about her, and Amberlynn is not happy about it. I want to take the time to thank everyone for getting me above and beyond 1,000 subscribers, it's absolutely insane, and I cannot thank you enough. It's awesome to see those of you who have been commenting your support since, before I even hit 300, continuing to do so now. I appreciate each and every one of you that watch and support my channel but I do try my best to specifically respond to or heart react some of those familiar usernames just to let you know I see you and appreciate you. Without further ado, get your baby wipes in your bib, it's a mess and let's get into it. Are you going to respond to Amber's claims that you didn't take her bleeding seriously? Everyone took it seriously. She didn't listen to any of us. She's the one who let her fear get in the way. There's no making her do anything, not even her current partner. I'm tired of talking about her, and I want to move on. That night she went to the ER, yeah at first I didn't take her seriously because everyone knows how she is, she herself has said she has been a hypochondriac. As soon as I realized how bad it was, which was literally 20 minutes after she even asked to go, I was all for it because it truly was the scariest thing to have witnessed what I did that night. If only she wouldn't have ignored people who actually cared about her. I have a handful and a half of people who also told her she needed to go to the gynecologist. The reason I have not said anything is, first off, I want to be completely done with that part of my life. It's the past and does nothing for my present or future. Also, I have been very sick, and before I was sick, I was busy. I owe no one this explanation, but maybe she forgot, but we all did love and care about her. Seems it slipped her mind. Glad she recovered from that nightmare but I am done with it all. I've got a lot of hard stuff going on already. So according to Becky, multiple people in her life at the time urged her to get help and see a gynecologist, and she proceeded to not do that for years, but somehow Becky was supposed to do more? Becky admits to not taking Amberlynn seriously at first on the night of the incident, which is understandable because Amberlynn had allowed herself to bleed for years at a time without seeing someone or expressing extreme concern, so why would Becky think it was suddenly an emergency? She did openly apologize for the 20-minute delay in taking her to the hospital in a lie they did together talking about what happened, and Amberlynn also briefly referenced that apology in a previous Q&A talking about Becky's involvement in the events of that night. Becky also responded to Amberlynn's claims that if she had been with Wipey she would have gotten help sooner, or that Wipey would have forced her to see a gynecologist, which in itself implies that at the time she was unwilling to do so and needed to be forced by someone else to prioritize her health. She said what a lot of us were thinking, that Amberlynn had been advised by the people around her to see a doctor and didn't listen, so what makes her think Wipey would have been any different? After not listening to those around her for so long, they eventually gave up and stopped trying to prioritize her health for her, which led to Amberlynn allowing the situation to fester into an emergency that she wants to blame everyone but herself for not catching sooner. Did you see Becky called you a hypochondriac? You don't deserve that at all. Love you. Yes, I saw it. Becky can do no wrong in the eyes of my haters. Somehow, some way, I'm always the one who has to stay silenced while Becky can say whatever she wants. They used to hate her as much as they hated me. That switched real quick when they realized they can use Becky as a way to get tea about me. Pathetic group of people. Calling me a hypochondriac in the same situation where I bled for over two years. Wow. Stay classy. This is honestly so childish. Becky never called Amberlynn a hypochondriac, she said that she didn't think it was immediately an emergency because Amberlynn was a self-admitted hypochondriac at the time, which is backed up by her multiple ER visit videos posted during the Becky era that ended in the doctors telling her she was fine or it being something minor she could have seen a primary care physician for. I don't like medication. You know that I'm a worry wart and I feel like I have every disease in the world but I don't. <laughs> Hashtag hypochondriac. Amberlynn is not silenced at all. She's been using her enormous platform to badmouth Becky ever since they broke up, and even carries it over to her Instagram platform as well. Just because people called her out for the exaggerated, unfair, or just downright untrue things she's been saying regarding Becky since the breakup, doesn't mean she's being silenced. 
Just like she thinks she should have a right to share her truth, her viewers, and the people she's talking about have a right to respond to the things she says, whether she likes the response or not. Becky hasn't been spilling tea about Amberlynn unprovoked, Amberlynn continues to talk about her on Instagram even when Becky isn't responding or has said nothing to warrant Amberlynn even bringing up her name, and then when Becky finally responds, or her viewers tell her to stop talking about Becky, she pulls the silenced victim card when she is the one creating the drama to begin with. I also find it incredibly ironic that she responded to the only part of Becky's comment that she could twist to make herself a victim, but completely refused to acknowledge that she actually was urged by Becky and multiple other people to get help, meaning she blatantly lied to make Becky seem uninterested in her health. You being mad Becky defended herself after you blamed her for your diagnosis is so wrong. I never blamed her for my diagnoses. You fools take a few clickbait lies from your beloved reaction channels and ran with it. I didn't blame her. I never blamed her. I'll never blame her. Stop putting words in my mouth. It's so frustrating to see Amberlin purposely and manipulatively misunderstanding any criticism she gets so she can deflect it by using technicalities instead of actually apologizing for her actions. Obviously we know she wasn't saying Becky is the one that gave her cancer, that would be ridiculous, but the fact that she even brought Becky up in regards to the reason she didn't seek help was an obvious attempt to shift the blame onto Becky because she failed to prioritize Amberlin's health, even though Amberlin was in no way worried about it either. Amberlin clearly said she would have sought help sooner if Becky had made a bigger deal about her bleeding, but why would that be Becky's responsibility? If Amberlin wanted to get help at any point during those years of bleeding, she could have, nobody was stopping her. If she wasn't blaming Becky for her not getting help, why would she have brought Becky into it at all? She could have easily just said I was bleeding for an extended period of time but I didn't think it was an emergency, so I didn't go to the ER until I was bleeding at a concerning rate. But that would have made her responsible for her own actions and she just can't handle that. Becky said your anxiety stopped you from going to a doctor. She really did love you. Haha, <laughs> I did go to a doctor and she knows I did. I went to a doctor in the same location where my psychiatrist works. Anytime I went to a doctor they ran tests and then just automatically just assumed the bleeding, white cell count, and pain was due to a UTI or kidney stones. They were wrong. Always wrong. This is my story, my experience. The people invalidating it, just for drama, is disgusting. Imagine someone treating your mother or child like this. Y'all stay mad and stay pathetic. This is exactly why I'm so irritated with this whole situation. She put the blame on Becky for her reluctance to seek help and how it led to the emergency situation that occurred, but in the same breath she says she was in fact actively seeking help, but the doctors didn't come to a correct diagnosis. I wonder who was taking her to see all of these doctors and get all of these tests done. I wonder who was sitting with her in these doctors' offices waiting to hear what was wrong with her. It definitely wasn't Wipey, her lord and savior. So how dare she say Becky wasn't concerned and should have done more to help her, when she clearly was attempting to help Amberlin figure out what was wrong. Amberlin admits that none of the doctors she was seeing knew she had cancer or that it would turn into an emergency health crisis, but somehow Becky was supposed to know more than a medical professional? Becky did her part, she took her to doctors, she sat with her while she had tests run, she took care of her at home, etc. There was nothing more she could have done, and Amberlin needs to either take up her beef with the doctors that misdiagnosed her, or admit that she should have seen a gynecologist when she had the chance, but in no way should she have tried to blame Becky for not catching what happened sooner. You insinuated B is the reason you didn't get help. She has the right to respond to that. If it was the other way around, which it was a couple months ago, and I was attacked for it, I'd be attacked again. Y'all are a joke and so blinded by your hatred for me. Once again, Amberlin is playing the childish, but when I did it everyone got mad, card, when in reality these situations are nowhere near the same. Becky made a video explaining her side of the breakup and why she cut things off with Amberlin after Amberlin had made multiple videos and live streams absolutely trashing Becky and saying how Becky should feel bad for breaking up with her and that she never really loved Becky, she loved Destiny the whole time, and just a lot of awful nasty things that she still has not apologized for. Becky didn't even go into detail about anything that happened during the relationship, but she said enough to defend herself from all of the people who were sending her hate because Amberlin painted her as some unfeeling monster who broke up with her for no reason. I find it funny that she didn't even deny blaming Becky for her not getting help, she just flips the situation to once again make herself the victim. 
Disgusting. You're not being silenced. When you talk about someone, they can defend themselves. Nah, I'm being silenced. The minute I mention my ex, people either harass me about it or tell me to shut up or I'm called a liar or they run to Becky. I can never share my experience about literally anything. Once again, Amberlin equates people calling her out on her bull to being silenced and unable to share her experiences. She absolutely can share her experiences, and has been, but what she's being called out for is exaggerating or fabricating elements of these experiences at the expense of other people. When she had the whole estrogen scandal, she lied and exaggerated what happened at the expense of an entire medical practice. When she told the infamous noodle story about her spilling hot noodles, she wasn't supposed to have to begin with, on herself, she blamed her mom for scaring her and making her get the worst possible burn you can get. Even her recent incident with falling down, she made sure to throw in there that she didn't want to go on the walk, but Wipey insisted she go. No matter what the situation is, she will find a way to put some form of blame on someone other than herself, when most of the time it's either her fault, or just one of those things nobody could have predicted or prevented. That's the problem her viewers have with the way she shares her experiences, not the fact that she shares them in general. As always, comment your thoughts down below, I'd love to hear your take on Becky's response to this whole situation, and whether or not you think Amberlin is actually being silenced because of the general dislike for her.